Hello again, a new day, a new project. I have bought a spare smart key for my Toyota Prius third generation and I'm trying today to register it with my car. So let's start the process. First of all, you need a laptop or a computer of any kind with a Windows 32-bit uh, software. That's why I install on this little one a fresh Windows 7 32-bit. Then I installed TechStream and I think it's version 13 or something. Now here I have the interface. It's Mongoose MFC. Anyway, this has to be connected to the car obd2 plug and of course the other side on the usb port of my laptop so let's proceed and do that installing the driver software okay ready to use that's what i want to see so this is the ignition button here i will press it twice one two the ignition it's on but there is no motor action for now it's just the ignition and this one goes under the hood over here we have the obd the contact and you have to take it with this hole that's the way it fits okay we are connected to the car so let's proceed with the software you don't need the java environment it's working without let me check something configuration here i need it for europe now oh, it's communicating with the car and here we are we go to body electrical and here we should have the smart key menu entry and start okay so here we have key registration separate the two types of keys okay the, the one should be registered it's out of the car we have a pre-checklist here this is good so we had the beep So we don't really need the car motor running, so start it off and just push twice the ignition. One, two, and that's only the ignition on. So the dongle is connected to the OBD2 port. Now the software is running like uh, being for North America. So soon we should have the menu, the whole system here. Okay, so we have electrical body smart key menu utility let's see the communication check menu so and have the overhead only overhead driver side yeah it's communicating now we can check we can check the other key we have communication with the with the original key you can see the LED blinking. So this is a very clear communication. Let's try the other one. So the original, it's okay. It's communicating with the car. So we check the communication. This one, it's not doing anything. But let's try again. The pretender has got no signal here. Okay, that's very clear. Let's go back and see. Smart code reset. No, don't mess with this. Let's try the classic way to register the new fob. I mean the new old. I'm just registering keys. So for now, the should be registered one should be away from the car. So you can see over here, we have six empty spaces. We have just one registered key this one working and let's go further now we should touch with the good one the ignition button we had a beep that means it's okay now let's have the copy or the want it to be copy Well, I can see activity over there. The 
the lead it's on but now we put it on the passenger seat as they asked here like that and nothing happened let's try the procedure again try again let me have the copy to be outside the original in just registering keys next six to go one registered the good one near the ignition you heard the beep that means it's good take this one out from the car the copy to be near the ignition we had the beep we put it on the passenger seat and wait for the software and of course nothing happened why because even it's a fully functional I have the radio transmission I have the communication somehow this key was registered before and uh, as much I could saw on the internet checking for the situation I found out that this kind of keys at least for Prius third generation if they are registered once to a car it's impossible to rewrite it so uh, I'm just giving up the point is that has been bought from a shop that's a good thing because I can return it on eBay but my advice is don't buy already registered car keys there is no way to erase them you know what I mean like a like empty memory or something and to write it back with your car codes so if you want to have a copy key just buy it from a shop that can assure that the key is how can I call it virgin so once registered to another car you can't rewrite these keys thank you for now I hope it's useful please comment please uh, like and if you have any question I'll be happy to answer in the meantime don't forget to have fun and uh, be safe bye bye <laughs>